Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another yoga workout here at Stevie Richards Fitness, uh, more specifically a chair yoga workout, uh, because sometimes you know, just the regular yoga workouts might even be too tough for you. Sometimes you might be limited in some ways. Uh, sometimes you might have a migraine for like four to five days straight like I had last week and you're still trying to recover from something like that. Uh, you might have an injury. You might just be tired. You might just want to do this before you start your day. You might want to do this at your desk at work as a little bit of a break, a little bit of way to stay loose. All these things, one or multiple choices or everyone I just mentioned, no matter what, chair yoga is highly underrated and something I'm actually diving into more and more. And it's not just for the silver sneakers program. It's for everybody, all ages, all sizes, all fitness levels. So uh, we are going to do this and stay in the chair. Uh, but, but stay tuned. SteveRichardsFitness.com is going to try to have a yoga series workout bundle uh, that you can purchase at a very affordable rate. And it will have every single thing, not just this, but chair hit, uh, chair cardio, chair strength, all that stuff to try to use the chair as the focal point. Uh, for your fitness journey. So uh, what we have here is a regular chair by the pool. So it could be a dining room chair, a folding chair. Uh, this one doesn't have a padded surface. You might want to put a pad underneath here if you have any kind of spinal issues, or this may help you to have something nice and sturdy and firm uh, for lower back pain or anything like that. It's all up to you. So whatever you can do to make the chair comfortable throughout the workout, do that. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to do well, we usually do stand up and then reach to the sky. We're gonna do a few of those and we're gonna do some side bends. So don't make it too intense where you're leaning over the chair or anything. Try to keep it all nice and tight close to the chair. So inhale up. And then we're gonna stay right here, exhale. See, I dropped my shoulders a little bit. And also you can look straight at the camera. Try not to look down because you still wanna open up the airway or you can look straight up like this and inhale. Exhale. Now notice my fingers are staying nice and wide. I always want to do that. Inhale up. Exhale down. And I'm leaning back into the chair. It actually feels pretty nice to have that support. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now what we're going to do are the side bends. Now you can keep your feet close together and try to do a little bit of balance, or you can reconfigure, readjust yourself in the chair, keep your feet hip distance apart. Don't go wider than that, about hip distance apart like you normally said. Inhale up. Now remember, I'm mirroring you. Exhale down with the left, scrape with the right. Now this might be too much for you. What you wanna do then is just put your hand right here on your thigh, hand on your side, or just reach up. If you can get that bicep closer to the ear, do that. Also, if you want to look up at the hand, that's how I know to spread the fingers wide or you look straight at me. It's totally up to you. Inhale straight up. Exhale. Drop the right, scrape the left. or put the left, like I said, right here. But you want to spread the fingers wide on the bottom arm too and try to scrape down the chair and push towards the floor or the or the pull side concrete, your choice. Stay right here, inhale up. Going a little quicker, exhale. Just a little faster. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time each side, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale, just drop. Hands by your side, shake it out. Readjust, whatever you have to do. You can walk it out a little bit. That's gonna be when we do the, do the lower part of that. You don't wanna stomp your feet, just a little preview of that. So, I wanna do two is we're gonna do a little bit of shoulder circles here. Now, usually we, shoulders seem like they might be warmed up, but that was just going up and that way. What we wanna do is circles. And you've probably done this in gym class, no matter how old you are, you remember being PE and having to do these shoulder circles and you just kinda of looked around at all this stuff because you were young and if you turned your head, 
uh, you didn't get a little kink in your neck and you weren't out for like three days, what I want you to do is absolutely look straight at me. Don't move your head. Don't look at your arms. Don't worry about it. Nobody's perfect on these. Just try your best. But what we're going to do is make small circles to the front like this and then small circles to the back. And then we're going to make larger circles. I'm telling you, please don't look because that, that just, I, even when I did, that's how I got, got hurt and ended up getting a migraine, looking to the left while I had weights in my hand. So it doesn't take weight, it just takes that little motion. So I'm going to stop now. I'm just trying to, to make sure because I need to be mindful of it too. Look straight at me, look straight at the TV, iPad, iPhone, whatever it is, computer. Spread your fingers wide. Five to the front, five to the back. Little circles. One two, three, four, five, and stop, back, five, four, three, two, one, right there, bigger circles, one, you'll feel this, two, take your time, three, fingers spread wide, four, and five, bring it back to center, back, five, oh, crack, four, crack, three, crack, two, crack, one, all the way around and back up and hands back to your side and shake it out. You probably feel that lots of cracking and I already worked out this morning. So like I should be loose, but shoulder mobility, shoulder rehab, shoulder recovery is very, very tough. It's something you need to work on more often, just like any modality or especially yoga. If you don't stretch, if you don't balance, if you don't keep those muscles loose and long, it's going to get tight. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to just do basic push forward, pull back, five of each. So we can get our chest and back, biceps and triceps, just going through the motion, using a little bit of isometrics, just going through the flow of this. So what you're going to do is finger spread wide, push, grip like you're grabbing resistance bands and squeeze, then open them up, push like that. So we're going to start right here. Back here, like we have a barbell or the bands, but we're gonna keep our hands open, fingers spread wide, all right? Inhale, exhale, push. Grip, inhale, exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Now, full motion, inhale, exhale, push. That's two on that. Grip, inhale, exhale, row. That's two on each. Now this is three. Deep breath. Exhale, push. Grip. Row. Fingers spread wide. Inhale. Push for four. Grip. Inhale. Row. Four. The same four as I exhale. This is the last one on each side. Hand, fingers spread wide. Inhale. Exhale, push. Grip. Inhale, row, and then just drop real easy and shake it out. Five to each side right there. Heart rate went up on that one, pretty good. Okay, so now usually what we do for a little bit of cardio, we're gonna give you a little bit of that, but in the chair, we usually run in place. But all we're gonna do here is march here. If you have to grip the chair to do it, to keep your balance, or if you wanna just make it more challenging, you could be right here. You don't wanna do that in the chair, that's fine. So we'll start here just gripping the sides of the chair. So it doesn't matter which side you start on. It's one, 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 two, one, three. We're gonna do five of these. One, 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 two. I'm glad I grabbed the chair. One, three, one, four, one, five. I'm gonna readjust right there. Sometimes too, you can just stretch out, pull your shoulders back, chest out, get a little back stretch there. That'll be part of the full workout that we do with the series. Let's do five more. We're going to count back from five. So five, one, four, one. No, that's too difficult. Let's do counting up again. Here we go. One, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five. Good. So I have to adjust. I slip a little bit. You might have that, but the holding on makes it a lot easier. All right. So on this one, I definitely want you to hold on to the sides of the chair. What we're gonna do is what's called a leg extension on each side. So we're gonna do five on this side and then five on this side, because I want you to have the plant leg there 
for the whole time. If we start doing that, you're going to be loose with it. So plant that. Got to get these sides right. This is your left foot. I'm mirroring you. So I might, I might abandon the mirroring aspect of these workout tutorials. So plant the right foot down. You can even curl the toes into the floor, the rug, the whatever you want. All right. And you're going to lift this foot up and you're going to curl the toes back towards your face. You shouldn't lock your knee out. It should hit the inside here. So one, squeeze back. And you can even touch the back of your heel or your heel on the chair. Two, three, squeeze. Four, five, bring it all the way back. Get that range, put the foot down. Now the other side, lift it up, curl the toes back towards your face before you extend. All right, and I can bring that heel back to the chair to get full range. Squeeze for one. Squeeze for two, bring it back. Squeeze for three. You gotta squeeze the whole time. Squeeze for four. Squeeze for five. Bring it down, now we're gonna march it out. One, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five. Good, okay. It's a nice, easy one, upper and lower body there. Uh, I could go into all these things of crossing your legs, trying to open hips up, pushing down. It's going to be, a, you know, this is designed to be a modified short workout to get you going, to give you a little bit of a break. In between those things, if you feel like it, grip the side of the chair and just go back like this. Don't try to reach back with your arms because your back is going to be arched a little bit too much. Just grip and right there. It'll do it anyway a little bit and then... Come back to center. You can round the shoulders out like this. Right there, you can do those a few times between each round of what we're doing. But I don't want you to get a little twinge in your back either. This is literally just to get the upper body and the lower body loosened up. Your back will follow, especially on the push and the pull. Get everything going. It's like a five, six minute, whatever. I'm not sure exactly how long we want, but it's not very long at your desk as you're taking a break or on your lunch break. Or like I said, if this is all you can do, it's better than nothing. Working out and progressing slowly each day adds up. It's called it's something called grease in the groove. If you do a little bit each day, think of the volume of this over seven days, over 14 days, over a month, over three months, over a year. That's a lot of stuff if you do it daily. So don't discount yourself. Oh, it's only a five, six minute workout. Add it up. And these workouts are not supposed to hurt you they're supposed to enhance you. You're supposed to go further. It's not supposed to break you down to a point where you can't do anything the next day. So keep that in mind when you're doing these. Every kind of workout and every kind of physical fitness, every kind of mental and spiritual fitness is very important for you to be your best self. And I'm working on it just as much, if not more than anybody else. I need the most amount of work in my mind. So, uh, you know, that we'll get to that. That'll be, that'll, we, we, sometimes we'll just sit here and we'll just meditate and talk ourselves through stuff. So that will, that'll be coming. So please stay tuned. Uh, once again, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Every Monday, these yoga workouts drop. Also, if you want this workout and all the others to download and keep forever, go to Stevie Richards Fit. No, Stevie Richards Fitness is where you go with the programs. Patreon.com forward slash Stevie Richards. You can also go to StevieRichardsFitness.com for the 12 and 16 week resistance band training programs, the shoulder mobility workout video, which will help reduce these clicks, and also the full body workout video. So please, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, StevieRichardsFitness at gmail.com. But for now, thank you guys. God bless you and have a great day.